How you doing? My name is Steve. I'm from uh, So Graphic Design. Uh, check out my Facebook page if you'd like. Um, basically, a little history. I'm uh, an artist of about, uh, well, I want to say plus 20 years. Um, obviously, starting in pencil, pen, uh, done painting, watercolor, just about everything uh, any artist uh, might try to explore. Uh, my newest adventure, though, uh, is digital art. Um, I recently started uh, trying to use, you know, Illustrator, CS5, um, you know, all of the kind of traditional mediums out there for digital art. Uh, the one thing I found that was very difficult was the artistic, uh, you know, talent being translated to a digital form. Uh, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, obviously when you're just when you're penning or inking. Uh, you know, your mind is telling your hand what to do. Uh, in this case, you're kind of injecting a third party, uh, be it the uh, computer or the tablet you're using, uh, which generally results in, unless you're very, you know, handy with uh, every different feature or effect or how to make effects work on CS5 or on Illustrator, uh, it generally comes out very choppy. So one thing I wanted to address today, and I think that uh, a lot of people have always had trouble with, and what I originally started having trouble with on CS5 and a couple of other Sketchbook Pro, um, was a continuous line that uh, the weight of it changes uh, as you go. Uh, as you're applying more pressure, less pressure, um, you know, I know CS5 is very difficult to accomplish that. Uh, you know, techniques are out there. You can certainly... Uh, accomplish it quite quickly and in a kind of a, an effect way or a digital way um, but the artistic way or the flow way is very uh, limited uh, it kind of hindered me quite a bit when I was starting out uh, you know having to switch between different weights every time I wanted to add a line or make a line heavier uh, it didn't really lend to my artistic uh, you know mind it created a block or an obstacle every time I had to go over a line five or six times to uh, you know, really create a weight uh, or a continuous weight that I wanted. Um, so I arrived myself at uh, Manga 5.0. Um, one of the amazing things, and one thing I have to stress is get yourself a good tablet, uh, be it a Wacom tablet or a touch screen uh, tablet that works for you, the size, etc. Uh, it really makes a huge difference um, and how your artistic ability translates onto the digital medium. Uh, so with that being said, uh, again, I recommend Wacom. I have their medium-sized tablet. Uh, it's about 12 by 14, I want to say. Picked it up at Best Buy. I'm sure you can get it anywhere uh, online. Um, with that being said, I wanted to get into just one thing here. And uh, one, of the, one of the things I discovered with uh, making weighted lines is it can be difficult freehanding a weighted line. Reason being is this is not that steady. As you can see, as fine as you go, if you press down a little bit, you're always going to get kind of that disconnect, and that's going to come with time. Being able to, uh, you know, manipulate the pressure you're applying so that you come out with the right transition uh, from thin to thick where it's needed. Uh, so one of the things I found in Manga Studio 5 that really helps me is going to be this ruler over here. And it's called the Curve Ruler. Now after I've done kind of my light pencil work, as you can see, I've kind of started uh, already some for you. Um, I still found it difficult to freehand uh, using you know, a pressure sensitive uh, tool you know, to kind of get a line that, that worked for me. Um, so first I'll go over and I'll just show you. Uh, I'll use the G pen, which is a pretty standard pen in Manga Studio 5. And I'll show you kind of how the troubles I had. So we'll start over here on the neck. And I'll start, we'll go over here. And as you go down, you, obviously you're following a line. If you want to get thicker, you know, you can do that. Uh, again, it may have something to do with the pressure settings, but I found it uh, pretty much across the board that it it was uh, somewhat difficult to really get it to work for me. You can see it's not straight, so then I gotta go back um, and try again. And it looks good there. We'll get a fine line and thin it up a little bit as we go. Um, but you know, the one thing that I did learn that I've been using quite a bit now as I draw comics within 
Manga Studio is the curve ruler. And what this does is allows you to, by applying the pressure to the uh, tablet uh, as you go, to create a ruler that is going to define your line. So you click once, you start, and you can see the starting point there, and the next one will go. But the great thing is, is as you're moving, it's going to kind of conform itself to the line you want. And you can see how that's going. Uh, and it'll move and move with your hand. So you just, you know, you're making points every, uh, you know, half inch or so to get yourself to a line. And when you're finished, if you reach a point where you want to start again, you just double. And you're going to see this line that kind of gets created. And the great thing about this is it creates a very, um, very nice line that's not jaggedy. It doesn't react to maybe a jerk uh, in your finger or your dexterity maybe isn't as good. So the next thing you do is you just go to the pen or G pen or any uh, tool you like to use and you're going to come back onto the surface here. You're going to find a line that you want to now begin to draw and you're going to start. And the way things now, you don't have to worry about where you're printing. You're just worrying about pressure now. So you want the final line on his jaw, let it up a little bit to get around the edge, and you can see how uh, smooth of a transition that is. Um, it really, really helps me a lot when I'm drawing forms or shapes or trying to get into tight spaces uh, around the eyes or the nose, um, and it really makes uh, my life easier when I'm drawing digitally. Uh, it may be kind of a, a cheat in a sense, but uh, Again, it, it makes life much easier. So that was all I wanted to show you today. I'm going to be starting a whole series here of tutorials on Manga 5. Uh, kind of the beginner's or, or dummy's guide to Manga 5.0 in a sense. But also get into some advanced stuff uh, as we go along. But you know, I think the important thing is to grab onto the basics uh, in the very beginning. So uh, that's my tutorial here for how to use the curve ruler. Um, and its distinction uh, between going freehand uh, and pressure sensitivity. Uh, appreciate you watching, and again, I look for some more videos of mine in the coming future. And thank you very much.